Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the characteristics of expert system. So what are the major or the most special characteristics of expert system? So why it is so popular? Okay, so basically expert system has totally many wide characteristics guys. So among them I have just took few expert few characteristics so that we can understand them easily. So expertise. So basically the expert system I, I have discussed that the data will be stored in the heart of the expert system like right here knowledge base if you remember the diagram it will be really easy so in knowledge base I told you right so so the accessing of information will be really in an efficient way and faster guys so with the help of inference engine we access right so that inference engine and this knowledge base plays a major role and the cost of the accessing information and all those are really really reduced when compared with the traditional way okay and symbolic representation or symbolic reasoning so here in expert system we discussed that all the things or all the facts or everything which is represented in the form of symbols right so this helps in formation of it really faster testing also it will be faster and validation is also done really really faster guys because of this symbols representation okay so the ability to provide a training so in our expert system we are having a special block knowledge acquisition so that block is responsible for this guys it provides a training for the expert system to be clear in expert system we have a special block knowledge acquisition to get the knowledge so it gets the knowledge from case study so what are the done whatever the expert system has done so it will be understanding it it will be analyzing it again so and this expert system plays a major role in distributed systems and productive sorry predictive modeling power Okay, let me go through it. So the system can act as an information processing model for problem solving. So even this expert system, what is the main use guys to problem solving? So it uh, solves the problem in an expert or in an efficient way. Okay. So basically expert systems can be evaluated on two bases guys. So the first one will be your performance and the second one will be your utility. Okay. So evaluation of expert system are divided into two types. Okay. So performance. So what is performance guys? How it is doing by observing it. Okay. So few questions are asked like all inference rules are correct and complete or not. All relevant questions are asked to the user in a proper order or not not. So basically remember this guys this point is really important. So the question should be asked in the proper order. If the order shuffles then there could be many issues guys in the expert system. So that's the reason why it's really important. And system makes a decision that expert system generally agreed or not. So whether it is accepting the result or not. So that will also be decided. Okay. So utility evaluation. So utility evaluation is nothing but just by observing something like that. So few more questions. User interface is friendly or not. User to satisfy the system is fast or not. So this utility is nothing but you can say in normal words we can say that the questions to the particular user. So whether it is fast, the interface is fast like that. Fine. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So in the next lecture, we'll be going through the advantages and disadvantages of expert system. Thank you. Thanks for watching.